Oh no! There's like a little sand right here. All right, guys, you probably want to know what the, oh no, what happened with that. And let's get into it real quick here. So running these terrain crushers, these are SRCs. You guys can see that a little bit, what's left of it. So it snapped the pin, which holds the hub on, which then holds the wheel on. It's a little bit weird that the pin snapped along with the wheel not coming off. So then everything kind of separated and went, I don't know where it went, but it's kind of a given because these tires have been used on another 6S vehicle, a Team Red Cat BE6S. Did the same exact thing, but uh, when it snapped, that little hub and the wheel nut was still on the tire. It just snapped the pin. So in this case here, snap pin, everything came off. So anyway, I got, I got replacement parts for it. Not a big deal. Now, some people have been asking and uh, in regards to running this thing on 6S. And the instructions, the electronics, say it's capable of 6S. The only thing that they do recommend is that you run it on two 4S packs, hard case packs. Why? Because they say that the vehicle is intimidating on even 4S. Maybe for someone that's new. But for me, I didn't have any problems with it. So maybe if you're just starting out and you like this vehicle, and you, I would, you know, they might go with the, what they say on the instructions, run it on two 2S LiPos give you a little example they do recommend or state that you should only run it in a hard case so let me show you what the difference so i got two different packs here this is a hard case and this is a soft pack so this protects your lipo this is more vulnerable because there's just more or less a shrink wrap around it and the information where this one's got it in a piece of in plastic so if there's any if anything it falls out or whatever or if it gets hit by something that's kind of sharp this um, case will hopefully protect a lot of that abuse where this one's exposed more or less. So um, if they say, hey, if you run in the hard case, as we recommend on 3S, you're going to need to make modifications probably underneath here or to allow these to fit. Because if you put one of these in here, it's going to be a lot difficult. It's going to be more difficult to get it in there. So these fit perfect because this is basically be like a 3S or I'm sorry, with a 2S LiPo. Um, 
set up in a hard case it'd probably be about the same height so these fit in here so um i run a 3s with the soft pack i don't see there being really an issue you can always put maybe some cushions in there to make it a little bit softer for it but for on i don't see i don't see the big deal i'm gonna run it the way i'm gonna run it but i just figured i'd let you guys know that is the instruction they do recommend that they also recommend that you get these gears this is the RGRC6233. They say that in the instructions. They say, hey, if you're going to run it on 6S, you need to get this pinion gear and spur gear. Let me, let me let you guys know that I did take just this cover off and I looked at the pinion gear in there. That's the only thing I looked at. And it looked to be exactly the same amount of teeth on the pinion gear. I'm not sure what the spur gear is at. But um, so I take it apart. There is one screw that's a little bit hard to get to. So I'm not sure if I have to take a little bit of a couple of these uh, rails off just to get to that one extra screw. <clears throat> but just to let you guys know in regards to that one, uh, that's it. That, but as far as when it comes to capabilities, when it you know on 6S, this vehicle has no problem. 160 amp, two to 6S LiPo. So yeah, you could run this thing on 3S if you wanted to. It's gonna be really slow. Um, and you're going to need an adapter, so you basically would take a wire, it's going to go from this one to here, that way you can run it on a single uh, battery. I've had people ask me like, hey, well how do you do it if you have it basically like kind of a wire? And I just say, I just have like a little T-style that I just have already soldered up a wire that goes from here to here. It's all good, it's not going to short nothing. If you look at it just the way it goes. Anyway, that's another deal, but that's, that's what happened. So all in all, this vehicle is awesome. Tires just give a lot of grip. The car's got a lot of torque, but it's loads of fun. So anyway, appreciate you guys watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Check us out at omgrc.com for all your hobby goodness. I'll put a link in the description below if you guys want to get one of these. I have a couple of them left. So if you're still interested in it, hit us up. Until next time, you guys take care. Thank you for watching. We'll see you on the next video. Later.